Hello, Baccarat players and gamblers of all kinds. <laughs> Welcome back. We're going to do another session I've been practicing. Modified Fibonacci sequence. 1123. 1123. 30 minute sessions. And I blabber at times. As I've told you, I'm a pretty conservative player, so this is my strategy. I would not play this amount, $25. I'm poor, so I definitely would not be playing $25 chips. But as I said before in the previous videos, it's units. Just think of units, y'all. This is one unit. You can play $1, one unit. That's the easiest way to do it, and then just multiply it times whatever it is that you would imagine you would really play. <clears throat> I just change it to 25 because it's a little more interesting. If you see a guy on a channel that won $1 at the end of 30 minutes, you go, wow, that sucked. <laughs> I wouldn't sit there and do that for 30 minutes just to make a dollar. I tell you right now, I would just to make the point. If I played, let's say, 20 hours worth and every hour I made one unit, and I knew that that was consistent. I was, I was doing it. Uh, then I would work my way up from a dollar to five. But that's the only way. I'm just that conservative. But anyway, this will be a little more interesting to those of you that want to see some larger uh, wagers. If you're wondering where I'm playing at right now, this is the Bovada website. Bovada.lv. The LV stands for Lithuania, of all things. Remember, Bovada, no matter what you see online, you all, Bovada is no longer regulated by the Mohawk uh, tribal, uh, I forget what it's called, the Mohawk tribal group or whatever, out of Canada. They are no longer regulated. And that used to be sort of where you wanted to be um, affiliated or who you wanted to be affiliated with. But um, the Mohawk people didn't like the fact that Bovada was offering gaming to Americans. The federal government has said no on gaming online. Your state might say, might say something different. I know like uh, Nevada, obviously New Jersey. I believe there's one other, if it's Idaho, no, Iowa. I think it's Iowa. Have to look that up. That one I'm not sure of. But New Jersey and Las Vegas, or Nevada, I'm sorry, Nevada, <clears throat> those are uh, allowed by the state. And then you have to check with your state to find out how it works out. The way I look at it is like, um, it's like the marijuana laws. You know, the federal government has still said it's illegal, but you'll see states are making it legal, have made it legal. But at any time the federal government wanted to, you know, they could go in and shut you down. So it's the same way with with gambling. As far as I understand it, correct me if I'm wrong. You can leave a comment or email me or whatever. We can chat about it. That's the way I understand it. So anyway, Bovada decided to, this particular website, the .lv, is for Lithuania. I don't really know what that's all about why lithuania other casinos go to like antigua or other countries i know another one is uh, what dot e eu for european union i'm not really sure that the the domain really tells you anything they're still all unregulated Unless you know of a casino that's regulated by some government authority, let me know. But for United States players, I don't know of any casino or any country, let's say, that has decided to go against the United States and say, hey, U.S. players, come here to our country, play. We don't care about the U.S. I would imagine there would be some pushback from our government. You know, who wants to go to war with America? So... These casinos, they have to go out and 
start their own casinos using um, a domain name. And but I mean, I guess it could be from anywhere. Dot com. Dot info. Dot whatever. It doesn't really matter. They're not regulated. Yeah, what was I talking about? <laughs> That's what happens to my brain. Well, let's look at it right now. We're up $150 so far. We're about five minutes into it. And right now, one, one, two. We have to bet two units. My goal that I came up with with this strategy is seven. Seven units up, seven units down, or at the end of four in a row, I stop the session and walk away. Okay, so if he goes, I'll show you on the next screen. Hold on. So if he were to go one, one, two, three, right here, I'm out. No matter if I'm up or down, I'm out. Okay? Here we have two. Here's two ties in a row if you don't know how to read this. Or if you see this color, it just means a tie. And it means nothing to me other than re-bet. My next bet right now is one, one, two. Two units. Deal. Bingo. So really, we're up $200, which is awesome, right, in seven minutes, or four units, which would be $20, or four units, which would be four bucks. Right? That's clear, right? Okay, so we won. Shit, I messed up. Shoot. Sorry about that. Damn it. Every time I talk, I... Make mistakes. All right, that one I kind of cheated. But we could have lost too, right? So, hey, you've got to factor in error sometimes. Sometimes operator error. That's why you shouldn't talk and gamble. Definitely don't drink and gamble. God, that would be a disaster. The only thing I drink is Diet Pepsi, and it gets me amped up. My brain gets going 90 miles an hour. I uh, start talking, and I'm just like, I get so into the mechanics. I get like robotic almost, and and then I just forget. Like, oh wait, I uh, I bet three on that one, and then I end up just hitting the repeat button, and it's like, oh no, crap, I screwed up. <laughs> wow, I wish this was for real. Look at this. We're at five in a row right now. We're still betting one unit. As I mentioned before in other videos, if any of you guys have uh, some strategies that you play and you want to share those, send them over to me. I'll play them. I'll play them and talk about them and we can let the uh, community decide what they think. I know there's one guy on YouTube that does something like like me. He's done it before me. He quit for a while, but um, you could check him out. It's Brunson F X B like boy R U N S O N Brunson F X, and he's kind of a character. He um. Brunson, if you're watching, <laughs> peace. <laughs> no offense, you're just kind of a character. But he plays a lot of different strategies, and sometimes he'll play and morph into different strategies. But um, he plays live play, which he, I've never found that he reveals where the heck he's playing. The only thing I found he said was some somebody asked him in one of the comments, and he just said, you have to be invited to play at that particular site that he's playing at. So I don't know what that means. 
but where he's playing is where I'd love to play. So yeah, go check him out. Um, the girls are pretty. The environment's gorgeous. Um, they've got... I think they've got a really low minimum, too. I want to say... Uh, I shouldn't say. I, I was going to say I thought they even have $1 play for live play. And if you can get that, then I'm even more in. But you'll have to pester Brunson to give up the name of the casino he's playing at. Maybe he won't. I don't know. I don't know if there's some reason like he's registered as a uh, EU player and he's doing like using a proxy server or something like that where they can't pin his location in the United States. Not saying that you are, Brunson. Not saying that you are. But, you know, I did think of that. Like there are some uh, European Union casinos that you could you could play at but you've got to be in the European Union so I'm sure some smart tech people have figured out little hacks around that by if you're not con if you're not uh, familiar with proxies they are basically like um, they don't allow they don't allow a particular website to detect your location is basically the best way I would explain it. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Like for instance, if you use, there's a particular browser, if you really want to keep your, your search history, your, uh, yeah, your, your search history online. Look, you see one, one, two, three, I lost. So I'm just going to go back to one unit, no matter what. Back to one unit. Anyway, there's a browser called the Tor Browser. T-O-R, Tor Browser. And that one's kind of cool, but... Um, and, and I've not tried it for, for gambling, y'all. I'm just not, I'm not interested in, in doing any shenanigans, breaking laws. I, I'm just not really into that. So, But what's cool about it is you can... They have a particular button on the Tor browser you can press, and it will show you the route that it's taken, that it's taking to get you to the information you've requested. So, for instance, you were on the Tor browser, you typed in Google, so you're at google.com, you type in a search, whatever it is, then you press this particular button that says show route. And it will show you like Netherlands, Germany, Britain, South America. And so it bounces it all over the place. So your location can't be detected. And if you're really into privacy, just for the sake of it, I'm not saying you're a crazy person. You're not a terrorist. You're not, you're definitely not a criminal. You're not doing anything you know, I, I'm definitely not encouraging you to go use the Tor browser because you have an interest to do something bad. I'm just saying it's out there. And if your security, your privacy is important to you, you use it. Or some of you might already use it. Okay, look, so we're at one, one, two, two units. And we're still up. We're still up four units. It's pretty good. I've definitely already gone up my goal of seven units and would have stopped. But in this one, I'm just going 30 minute session. Yeah, I think that. Tor browser is referred to as like, you know, when they say the dark web, some of you might school me on that or tell me I'm wrong, but I think that's what they're talking about. If someone uses the dark web, they're using browsers with proxies and I don't know. <laughs> I'm obviously 
not that educated on the subject, but I think I've got sort of a high level of it. What else to talk about? So one, one, two. Fourteen and a half minutes still left to go. Don't forget to change your bet. See, I caught it that time. And back to one. One unit. This is still basically streak play. You've probably heard people talk about playing streaks and how you're always going to end up a loser. Well, as I've said before, you're going to end up a loser no matter what you play. So for me, I understand this. It just means less work. And when I hit one of these, it's sort of like being on the craps table, right? And, and the person that's rolling goes on a long long streak and you go 8, 10, 12 uh, rolls in a row and you're winning. It's the same thing. I don't know why everybody gets all bent out of shape about streak players. I play with a strategy and I play for streaks. I play in games that are as close to 50-50 as I can get them. And I play for the smallest amount possible until I'm comfortable with the wagering strategy I've selected so that I don't have a lot of volatility. That's the best way I'd surmise my play. If I were betting in the stock market, I'm not betting on, I'm not day trading and I'm not doing stuff that's fluctuating, you know, wildly so that I can lose my investment. I just wouldn't do it. But I like, the thing I like about wagering, the idea of wagering, is if you've got, first of all, you've got a bug to gamble. You love to gamble. What did I do wrong? How did I win $100? Oh, jeez, David. Anyway. Uh, operator error again, I guess. Anyway, the reason I like wagering in my style of play is it's kind of like the stock market, except it allows you to compress time. So in the stock market, the way I look at it is you have to, two units, Dave, two units. You have to wait a day before you see the results or if you're you know day trading like what's big in the 90s you know maybe not maybe you're by the hour by the I don't know by the minute <coughs> oh I see why I won a hundred duh man my brain sometimes just is not there I can break down my sessions into 30-minute sessions. And let's say I had a $100 bankroll and I go up seven units, right? I made a 7% profit on my bankroll in 30 minutes. Now I can come back with my $107 bankroll one, one, two, two units. I can come back with my $107 bankroll and do it again. 
three units. And so at the end of however many hours, probably a four hour day is how I would do it. Now I start the sequence over. Doesn't matter that I'm up. I'm just starting the sequence over. Again, I'm not chasing him. We see here I've done it. I've gone five wins in a row two times. So he could very well do it. So I'm not going to go one, one, two, three, five. I'm not doing that. I'm not betting 125. Doesn't matter what happens here. I'm just not doing it. Tie. So yeah, it allows you to be a conservative player, compress time, which allows you to be, uh, what, what would be, it gives you the opportunity to make a decent return on investment daily. Is how I'd say it. And if it doesn't, wins, losses, wins, losses, and you just find yourself sitting there even, well, you just basically, you cured the bug in your head that has to gamble, and you've lost very, very little. And as I said, if you play for matching play, matching bonuses, you know, you'll get some of that. If you're playing in a casino, you're going to get some comps and dinner and uh, a show. You might get one night at a hotel for free, you know, all of those things. I think I've covered that at nauseum, but I'll keep repeating myself because I have no idea how many new visitors come here that are unfamiliar with my style of play. If you're a return visitor, you've heard this so much, it's got to be beaten into your head by now. You can you can agree or disagree. It doesn't really matter. It's my style. But um, plus two, you know, talking. I'll sit here sometimes uh, in my head, and I'm writing this stuff on paper. I'm writing my results. I'm trying different strategies. But I don't have anybody to share it with. Who's interested in in this? So what you got to do is go out to the web where you're going to find like-minded people who are interested in your subject. So you create a YouTube channel and you start publishing your stuff. See who's out there, who finds it interesting. Uh, you might, you know, share ideas back and forth. If anything, you could talk about what casinos you go to, where you visited, uh, what strategies you play, what kind of luck you've had playing your strategies. Uh, if you have you been kicked out of the casino for counting cards have you <laughs> whatever it is <clears throat> at least it gives me an outlet is what I'm saying you guys are like my virtual friends okay we're doing pretty good now let's see how many minutes we have left six minutes 40 seconds Boy, don't I wish I were playing $25, that I had a bankroll, I could play $25, I guess is the way I would say it. This would be pretty fantastic. I would tell you that this is not typical of the results I've been seeing playing this on paper and not publishing any of this content. It's normally not like this. It's a grind and you know, one to seven unit profit is more likely after a 30 minute session. Not too many seven unit losses. Honestly, look right now we're on a we're on a streak. Okay, now he finally comes back. Doesn't matter, we just hit repeat. If some of you are wondering why I switched over from wizardofodds.com and the Baccarat game that's there, it, it has nothing to do 
with the website. I'm not unsatisfied with it. There's no flaw that I found in it. It's just what I wanted to do was play at an actual casino and test out the software to get an idea of what real play would be like. All right, here we go. One, one, two, now we're three units. Bovada is kind of the biggest name in the online casino world. Uh, sports wagering, casinos, slots, the whole deal. Live play. So that was the obvious choice. <coughs> Gosh, damn it. Did it again. I've got three units. Shouldn't have done that. There I go, talking again. Wow, it benefits me. That just totally screws up the numbers. Whatever, you guys saw it. You can do the adjustment. I'm not going to claim that that three unit bet as a victory. I'll subtract two units. So yeah, Bovada was the the clearest choice to test out their software. I opened I registered for an account there many weeks ago. I've not made any deposits. I attempted and it doesn't work. There's all kinds of reasons for that I won't get into, but it's difficult. If you have a credit card, it's going to be difficult, I've heard, for you to have that transaction approved by your bank. They're not really fond of people using their credit card to gamble. Let's just call it what it is. Wagering, gambling, whatever you want to call it. Um, so now Bitcoin seems to be the way to make a deposit. But I'm, I don't really want to mess with that right now. <clears throat> but anyway, so I created an account there. No real money has been deposited. I've just played their software. So then I found another casino. I won't get into how I found them, but anyway, I found them, and where are we at here? One, one, two, three. Jeez, oh, I don't even know what I bet. Ah, uh, I was supposed to start at one again. Damn it. Well, that should be a wash now, right? <laughs> I think now maybe this is a truer number. Oh, this video is going to suck. <laughs> anyway, Ignition uses the same software. Man, he's on a streak. So I can test it out get an idea of what what it would be like in real play I did try out a couple of others but I won't I won't tell you their names right now because frankly off the top of my head I can't remember but there was a couple of others that I noticed some let's just say some very lopsided house wins it didn't it wasn't very representative of a 50-50 game with a conservative strategy like this. It was wildly towards the house. And I said, nah, I just, you know, more out of curiosity, what, what gaming systems, what gaming software different casinos are running. I'm interested in that sort of thing. So yeah, nothing wrong with the Wizard of Odds website. It's faster play. So, you know, keep that in mind. All right, we're down to the last minute. Looks like about five units up. You, you saw some of my errors. You can go back and watch it and figure it out if you're really, really into it. But I'm estimating this is pretty accurate now. <clears throat> so, after a 30 minute session, that's 8 units, right? 
25 seconds, 9 units, 25, 50, 75, 100 times 2. So call it 8 units. <coughs> you're up 8 units, guys. If you bet $100 chips, you're up $800. $25 chips, $200. $5 chips, $40. And, of course, $1 chips. Well, you just made $8 in 30 minutes. So if I did that again... I'm, I'm doing $16 an hour. I literally would probably do that over a long period of time just to get into uh, online gambling. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and upload this video. Someone, anyone out there, just a thumbs up. Just uh, anything to let me know that you're watching this. Be appreciated. I guess if not, then, uh, you know, I'll upload these at my leisure you know, just for entertainment purposes and see if the channel does anything. And if it just gets to a point where <coughs> nothing's really happening, then I'll just stop. I'll just take it down. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Talk to you.